Hey guys, Windstorm with Stormy Gaming here, and welcome back to Valley. In the last episode, we took this elevator and it broke. So, let's get into it. Wrong button. I haven't played this in a while. Whoa! I almost died there. Oh, this way. Me again. What? It's like a guy can't take a nap anymore these days. Sure, I was on guard duty at the time, but what am I guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yesterday I saw a rabbit run by. It was the highlight of my day. <laughs> your job must be pretty boring if the highlight of your day is just a, just a rabbit running by. He pressed the wrong button. Here we go. Whee! Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's the enemies of this game. Oh, I don't think I can make that. I really don't think I can make that. Nope. Down I go. Shoot. Mm, where do I go? I might just cut this down and find where I'm, what I'm supposed to do. Because <laughs> I have the power of editing. That's right, I have a double jump. Huh. <laughs> I was stupid. You probably told me that. It's over here. I totally forgot I can double jump. So now since I have the power of editing through the uh, share factory, which is nice, um, I get to cut a lot of this stuff out and not waste your time. So, there's that. Oh, here we go again. Whee! Here we go! Oh, jeez. Oh, this is gonna break. I'm surprised it didn't break. Where did that come from? Oh, I see him. I see him. There we go. Good. 
good. We did it. Yay. You know what I'm thinking of doing with the Rise of the Tomb Raider series? I think I'm just going to do tombs and just dick around in it. You know? There's no point in having parts, right? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to do tombs. Just record that. So, and since I have the power of editing, that's nothing. Since I have the power of editing, won't do that. It'll just be highlights or something. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to go up. And or do this. Now, come on, we gotta find some secrets, huh? <clears throat> Working the pipes on this place is a real pain. It's as though they went out of their way to build our their s facility in the worst place imaginable, just to make it tough, just to make it tough on lowly pipe fitters like me. Repairing a pressure system leak takes me the half a uh, takes me the half of a day just to get to it. They ain't paying me enough, if you ask me. I keep doing that. Yeah, I can read totally. But this game is just awesome. I recommend it if you want to have an enjoyable experience. Up and down we go. Bump. Yeah, superhero landing. There could be says, yeah, there's something here. Memo. Stay on the lookout for any intruders on the premises. A number of guards have reported seeing shadowy figures watching our operations from afar. It could be a sign of possible espionage. Report trespasser sightings at once. Uh, am I a trespasser? No, this place has been abandoned for years. Acorn. Reminder to all personnel. Please keep a safe distance away from the Amrita Amrita swarms. They often become territorial aggressive territorially aggressive when in need of Amrita. If a swarm is blocking access for you, please request for a Pathfinder to pacify the swarm. Hey, that's me! I'm a Pathfinder, I guess, maybe. We're going Mario style here. Do, do, do. These lights still have power. Oh, they do. Oh, I see why we can run like a cheetah because there's claws. Digs into the ground. Goes really. Uh, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Nope, from a pathfinder. Dying while dying while wearing the leaf suit is an incredible experience. No one outside myself can possibly observe it. The best way I can describe it is as is as a daydream one sometimes gets lost in. I die by falling into a lake, and the next second I'm standing by the shore. No one else being the wiser about what just happened to me. This is even real. up to new places with the vi viper coil upgrade. One path fires the latch onto dead eye crane blocks. Each used to cause
We've got a large portion of this valley mapped out so far. As far as I know, we've explored most of the acorn doors. I hear that there are a couple squads with almost enough medallions to access that big step pyramid. Big step pyramid? What do they mean by that? It's gotta be something I can grab. Ah! Okay. Wee! That's gonna get some getting used to. That's that's gonna take some getting used to. There we go. I can't talk. I promise I'll get better as the years go by, or as the weeks. Well, you know what I mean. Once I get better at it. Let me open this door first. Samsara, Sa whatever. The repeating cycle of birth, life and death, affected by a karma fostering during during one's life. Is that what pathfinders experience constantly, dying and reviving? According to Buddhism, there is no beginning to the cycle, but it can, however, be broken through enlightenment. To my shadow. Look at that. Hello. All right. Sweet. By the end of this, I'm gonna have so much energy. That's all there was. Wait. be able to find every single tree that's dead. But I'll certainly certainly try. If I backed up just a little bit more. Found it. We got it. What's this place? Pathfinder's train here? Ah, he hasn't the... been with the isolation policy in effect. I've often found myself in the company of a Pathfinder named Edwin Hall. I thought there was a gun. The things he can do in a leaf suit are astounding. Some nights we'll head to the rooftop above my office and watch the auroras. I have no idea what he could possibly see in me, though. I tend to ramble a lot. Aww. I mean, 
Who wouldn't find Mesoamerican calendrical systems anything other than fascinating? Guys love that stuff, right? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. she wants to find love. She has a crush. Ah, oh, don't put yourself down like that. Yodavo, your brain is just amazing. I mean, I would be fascinated in this. Give me a leaf soon, I'll be fascinating all over this thing. Don't take that out of context. Everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily, I managed to ex extract its life before it could swipe at my face. Uh, I would just run since I have that ability. Since I can run at the speed of sound, I hope. I got real far before turning back to return his life energy. Oh, okay, good. Hope I never see the likes of him again. For me, I wouldn't even try to take, wouldn't even think about taking the life. If this was me, because I don't want to take lives. Especially when it's a hostile. Pathfinder squad point tally from a daily exercise. Land sharks, 48. Raptors, 43. Valkyries, 37. Book Riders, 37. While Rose is 29. So there was squads? I think there were teams. Yeah, there were yeah, there were teams or something like that. Ah, okay. Of course, duh. Of course they would be doing research on this stuff. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was cool. I'm gonna get used to that. I I have to get used to that or else I will die a lot. And the valley will be dead. I mean, I don't want that. More notes. These medallions are getting cleaned up fast. Getting into that pyramid first is going to be tough. Hopefully, I find some more quick. I want to be the first to explore it. And more energy. Nice. Ooh, jeez. I had to double jump on this one. Or do I? Nope. Oh, I'm doing so well with this. I like giving life. Because it's me. Hmm. I'll get a face cam soon, like the PlayStation camera. Uh, I gotta figure out. I wanna do it for before Sonic Forces comes out. So, yeah. I have seven medallions. How many medallions do I need in order to get to this pyramid thing? But yeah, I wanna do. I wanna get a cam, a face cam before uh, Sonic Forces comes out, so then you can see my reaction because I'm gonna be gawking at the whole game probably, or if I don't like it, then uh, how much rage I'm gonna induce. So much facility. statues all over this valley are a bit unnerving. Why would the ancient people who lived here build that kind of stuff? As scary as they are, I still find there is a beauty to them. Something about those monstrous faces sitting amongst the calm forest captures an odd sense of horror. Once you do enough of that, it gets pretty, you get used to it. Just three hits and it's done. I want to find upgrades. And medallions, apparently. Up. 
I really gotta stop doing the my gamer face. If I do that, I stop talking. If I stop talking, I'm just concentrating, but I don't really need to concentrate much. While I appreciate being brought in to study the valley, I wish the military's presence here wasn't so domineering. I can't say these giant structures add much to the view. It would be nice if this was simply a place of study and conservation. I'm doing my best to steer the army away from the ruins, but the only thing that seems to concern them is their project. Gathering up as many of these strange orbs as they possibly can. Sin Armored Storage? Wait, what? But they were just storing it up for what? That was a fast one. So they were just storing it up and killing all the valley. The ascent. So we're in a soma facility. No trees or orbs nearby. Take energy from the storage cells with pleasure. I can still turn this on. There, I'm gonna use these. Give me that. You don't deserve that. I'm taking your energy back and giving it back to the valley. I don't like that. And it's the path to find his job to do that. It's the Pathfinder's job to give back to nature. I'd give every, I'd give anything to be a Pathfinder, but there's no way I'd be, ever be eligible unless I suddenly lost 60 pounds. That'll never happen. Too bad. I bet you I could pick up a lot of girls in those things. Uh, maybe. September 17th, 1942. My name is Andrew Fisher, leading physicist and head of Project Pendulum. Pendulum is the research and development project directed by the Army Corps of Engineers to produce a weapon of mass destruction that can bring an end to the war through the unconditional surrender of our enemies. In response to the spy-ridden efforts of the Manhattan Project, headed by my cohort, Robert Oppenheimer, Pendulum has been founded under the utmost secrecy. Funds, pride, and soldiers' lives are all on the line in a race to win the war, thus giving rise to the name Pendulum. Jeez, secrecy. Are these for lights? Yeah, they're for lights. Take that back. Exploring will probably cut stuff out. As a precaution to both Nazi and Soviet espionage, I don't care if I have full energy, I'm taking it. And purpose is unknown to the outside world. Taking a cue from the Manhattan Project, only a small few know of Pendulum's purpose, operating under the guise of an alternative energy project. As it came to light that Manhattan had been plagued with espionage, it was agreed upon to shroud Pendulum within the government itself. All those who knew of Pendulum's true intent are here. Though admittedly extreme, we can ensure an ironclad umbrella of secrecy. Information can only come in, oh, and none out. can go out. As far as anyone outside this valley knows, Pendulum does not exist. This valley does not exist. You're a douchebag, you know that? Yeah, you guys don't exist until someone finds you and then, you know, report you or something. Ooh. Come 
Am I just small or something? I feel like I'm small. Ooh. Note from the an administrator. Trying to keep this operation a secret has been an absolute nightmare. Between coordinating sur surreptitious supply drops, securing Ill illegitimate funds, channeling resources and manpower, to creating thousands of ghost accounts and fake offices to bury the operation from any level of government, barring someone accidentally stumbling across this location in one of those most one of the most remote areas on the planet. There's no chance anyone will find this out here. And tell me, I found you out. And now I'm gonna report you, even though this has been abandoned for I don't know how long. Is that the way to go, or? Oh, okay. was. And I wanna collect I've been ordered to patrol the Soma facility again today. I've circled through the same runes 30 times since noon. At least I get to smile at the cute scientists in the pressure chambers each time. She hasn't smiled back at me yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy. Oh, I'm sad. It's odd to think about what exactly a life is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up my life? My ingredients aren't really any different from any different than anyone else's. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. Held together with some energy. So what exactly makes me me? I guess, if anything, I'm just a pattern. One that forms out of the chaotic blender of matter in the universe, like a whirlpool out of the water, and when I die, that pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. Are we all the same universe simply expressing itself? That's the fact of life. Gotta figure that out. I hope those are wires. Alright, let's uh hope I can get out of this facility. I don't know how long this game is. Crap. What was, that, what was at the back at that other way? Oh. Here's four minutes. Use armorita packs or store a small amount of energy to your suit. Or just take the energy and give it back. The energy orbs growing here are the key to the valley. Pendulum completely depends on the vast magnitude of energy these orbs contain within them. Regardless of where they came from, they are all the key to ending the war. Through Pendulum, we can harness the so-called Amrita, Amrita energy of the orbs and release it however we see fit. Oppenheimer's atomic bomb will pale in comparison to what we can produce here. The reactor and thermal diffuser are very unstable and must be located both far apart and underground to ensure any accidental explosions are contained. Large vents are needed to circulate cool air deep into the mountain. Conveniently, one of the, mo one of the mountains already had ancient tunnels leading deep into the heart of the mountain. This site was chosen for the thermal diffuser and weapon sites. The two sites are connected via underground rail to transport materials. Several guards that on night watch have reported large creature sightings. Some of them are a little shaken up by it. It might just be that being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere for so long is finally getting to them. Either way, we'll need full annual psychological assessments for all personnel in the near future. Charlotte Smith, Psychological Operations. Area 634 isolation policy is currently in effect. All vehicles and personnel entering the site can no longer leave until pro project completion. Duh. 
can't read. The rail tunnel and the airport will remain closed until that time. All communication is in full lockdown. Thomas Wilson, head of pendulum transportation. A large scale extinction event occurred in North America near the end of the Pliocene period. Interestingly, the epic center of the extinction seems to stem from the valley's location. Could Area 634 have anything to do with it? Uh huh. From contractor. Now that the isolation policy is in effect, I found out this is a weapon project of some sort. I still don't know much, but I hope to find out more. I just wish I could talk to my family back home. Let them know I'm doing okay. I, I can't believe it. I'm almost at a loss for words. What? This is the discovery of a lifetime. No, no, of the 20th century. Have I found Schrodinger's cat? This is beyond my wildest imagination. As a result of the reaction between the Amrita energy and the Pathfinder's own life force, they experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. Yeah, but at the cost of the Valley's health. Where's that coming from? It's coming from this, isn't it? That's... I don't like that sound. I seriously do not like that sound. Oh, disgusting. Today, one of the guards patrolling the summer facility walked by. I'm moving. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> I asked him if he was keeping an eye on things. I don't think he got it. Yeah, shoot. Ah! Okay there, buddy. Come here. Oh, so he does give me energy. Okay, I just wanted to test that. It's over here. Oh god, more reading. I've ran through the annual psychological assessment for all personnel stationed in Area 634. So this is from the last one. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Many are reaching a breaking point in their isolation from friends and family back home. And the work hours demanded from them is taking its toll on morale. Despite this, most are quite mentally stable. The project lead, Andrew Fisher, does concern me. Yeah, you know, yeah, I will. Because I'm reading all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. The leaf suit may prove to be a pinnacle feat of pendulum. The ability to manipulate life and death using the god hand, the agility, and the ability to circumvent death. All thanks to the Amrita energy converting from this value's orbs. We can create the ultimate soldier. The Mark II success will herald a new wave of iterations. The way Edens makes a show with Virginia all the time really makes my teeth grind. Everyone knows that roman romantic involvement between personnel is prohibited. Yet no one does anything about it. Why does he get to run around with a girl while the rest of us sit around and play poker for the 9,000th time? Well, uh, you should find yourself a girl, huh? It's not that hard to figure out. To produce bombs of unparalleled yield, we rely upon the guys, life scene you know, housed within a reactor mm -hmm. found deep underground beneath the Soma facility. By harvesting the high energy yield orbs found within the valley, we pass their energy through the life seed, which acts as a sort of amplifier, magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here would dwarf reactor. anything the Manhattan Project could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> So 
I thought. What I thought. Oh no, there's more of them. I thought the bombs being created were impressive enough, but it's that new weapon prototype that will undoubtedly steal all the intention. It's been it's being called Thantos. Thantos, huh? Hmm. It's in here. Oh, more reading. I hate that annoying pun guy. I went into storage looking for inert gas to fill the glove box. He walked by with the last canister in hand and told me it was argon. I hate him. <laughs> wow. I don't think you should be telling jokes. Ooh. Ugh. Quantum death and immortality using leaf technology is, is a fascinating field of study. Using this tech, a person could live out a full life without fear of an accident cutting in, cutting it short. Albeit, the use of immortality is a misnomer. Misnomer, whatever that is. As the user simply shifts to a new timeline wherein they are still alive, this can only hold true until all practical timelines are exhausted. For example, an elderly man dying of a natural cause is unlikely to shift into a timeline where they do not die as the parallel world is very unlikely to exist. So, whenever I die, there's a good chance that I'm kind of going through other timelines. Back to the future, man. When I met Einstein at Priston... Really? You met Einstein? No way. I couldn't help but see a hint of Oppenheimer reflected in him. I was astonished by his Clairvoyant, clairvoyance into the makeup of our universe. Viewing the experience of all things natural and spiritual in perfect unison, with the self acting as little more than an optical illusion in the perpetual flow of the universe. When Oppenheimer and I studied Indology under Arthur Ryder, I could see that the same compassion of empathy for all living creatures were ruling with them. That's why they created the leaf suit, I guess. Tracing the life seed's location was a simple matter. After years of tracking the epicenter of the Pleistocene <laughs> extinction event, I was led to this valley location. I couldn't believe my eyes. Upon the immediate examination of one of the orbs, I discovered their vast energy potential. With the help of the pathfinders, I was able to locate the life seed within the valley. Oppenheimer won't believe that his ears upon hearing the marvels I have accomplished. All oh, is even more. Effectively, those wearing leaf suits gain the ability to deny the actuality of wave function collapse. In other words, the ability to branch through various object objective realities as part of a many world theory of quantum mechanics. With this ability, pathfinders have visions of themselves dying. Each time this occurs, something nearby dies such as an animal or nearby vegetation. It was soon discovered that if the Pathfinder has a vision of their own death, it is in fact them actually dying. Instead of remaining dead, they branch into a new wave of reality, whereupon they continue to live, albeit at the cost of an equivalent amount of life within that branch. To put it blandly, if a Pathfinder wearing the leaf suit dies through some ac accident, their death is traded with the life of nearby living things. They achieve quantum immortality. Why in hell is Fisher making us ramp up production? We're already working ourselves half to death down here, and now he wants sleep deprived people working around the clock? We're working on explosives for crying out loud. This Fisher guy is out of his mind. A total megalomaniac. Just look at that pipe finder statue in the main lobby. I can't believe we all have to take orders from him. Unquestionably, during this wartime, surely I can't be the only one who feels this way. Oh.
that's a tall one. Oh, hello. Probably taking that. Medallion. Might as well collect as many of these as possible because of that pyramid thing. Floor five. <laughs> That's a fun way to do it. Suffering. The natural life here seems to be slowly dwindling. Edwin thinks I'm crazy, but I see it becoming quieter. Are we gradually killing it? I would assume so. Oh, stirring up trouble. Quite like her moral objections to this project are the last thing I need on my mind. If it weren't for the isolation policy, I'd have her removed from the premises and sent back home. Were they were they harming the valley? Oh. Okay, we're good. scared me. Yikes. There's one down. Ow. Ow. I saw no one. Boost. Gets where you need faster with the push rod piston. Maximum velocity upgrade. How do I do it? Our newly developed push rod pistons will allow Pathfinders to achieve an unprecedented velocity. By energizing the tunnel rails, the leaf suit should conduct enough energy to reach immense speeds. So this should lead down the reactor. Run on the round to travel faster. Your energy will recharge from the tracks. Ooh. Cool. Now we're really going Sonic on this. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. This is so cool. Another. Sorry about that. Yeah, because I can do crazy stuff like that. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. This is awesome. Yeah! Oh my gosh! You guys should totally play this game and have this kind of experience. This is so cool! I love the Icarus boost. Oh my god! Holy shit! So cool! This is 
what it feels like. This is the ultimate feel. Yeah. Even the music's doing that. That's so cool. Woohoo! So cool. I'm loving this so much. If this was third person, or if this was me, I would have to be running just like Sonic. Oh my god, this is so cool. Amazing! <laughs> oh, I hope I get to do that again some more. <clears throat> okay, Brit. Let's turn it down a bit from all that excitement. Whoever these people were that once lived in this valley sure went through a lot of trouble carving out all these giant colossi everywhere, even in these tunnels. Must have been pretty important to them. Digging out past his way through the middle of the mountain. Whew. I'm sorry if I wasn't really talking much in that. I was just, you know, in awe at that experience. Oh, that was a, if, if this was a VR game, that would have been great. Uh, actually, before we go down there, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Sorry for that cliffhanger, but uh, I've been going, I've been recording long enough. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Like, click that like button if you like this video. And comment down below what you liked about this video. What I liked about this video was that entire rail section. Uh, so, subscribe for more content, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Windstorm, out!